Okay, so those of you who are in the world already, you need to put all of the stuff in your inventory, including your armour, away. Okay, so everything you have needs to go in a chest. You've got two minutes. Two minutes to get rid of all the stuff in your inventory. Guys, can I have hands off and listening, please? Hands off facing me. Shannon, if you press yes on that, it'll stop coming up. Okay? So that Uniflow thing, if it keeps popping up, guys, press yes. Guys, hands off, looking at me. The reason I'm asking you to get rid of all of the stuff that you have in your inventory and put it somewhere in a chest, okay? No one is going to steal your stuff. All right? That's the guarantee we're going to make each other. If it's not your chest, it's not your stuff, you're not going to take it. Okay? So, the reason I'm asking you to get rid of all your stuff is because if you don't, you won't be able to come back to this world with it. So we're going to go to another world again, okay, like we did last time. We're going to do an activity and then you're going to get your inventory cleared and then you'll be able to come back here and get your reward for doing the quest, okay? So everything you, ha you go with will be lost. Okay, I just gave everyone another 12, blo 12 planks of wood, all right? If you don't have a chest already, you now have enough stuff to get one, okay? Once, shh, once you have put all of your stuff away, you need to meet me at the fountain. Looks to me like pretty much everyone's at the fountain ready to go. Okay? So, I need you guys to listen carefully. The class yesterday, okay, I learned some stuff. Shh. I learned some stuff yesterday that I've changed overnight. Okay, and I want to see how it goes today. Now, the class yesterday did not read the instructions very well. Okay, I cannot stress to you guys enough how important it is that you read the instructions that you are given. Okay, now I have two options for you as far as instructions go. There are people in the game that will talk to you called Frank, Francis and Frazier. Okay. They will talk to you and they will give you instructions, okay? If you don't want to read it off them, I have those basic instructions written down here for you on this piece of paper, okay? This is kind of like a checklist. There are 25 steps to what you need to do today, all right? It's not hard, but there are 25 steps. If you want to go through here and check them off as you go, that's perfectly fine. Who are you looking at, Summer? Bailey. Bailey, you've still got your armour on. You'll lose it. Okay, all right. Okay. I put my armor on somebody else's chest. So, guys. Shh. Eyes on me again in the room, Ta. So, hands off, Summer, for a sec. Okay. What you need to do, there is an activity that needs to be done. To go and see Frank, I had issues yesterday with too many students standing around Frank at any given time. So, I've made two Franks. Okay. And. I've tried to make it so that only one student can get to Frank at a time, okay? So I've set up doors with pressure plates and pistons and all sorts of funny stuff in the hopes that only one of you will be at Frank at a time, otherwise it's gonna cause issues, okay? So see how it goes. If, if things aren't going well, that's fine. I'll work around it like I did yesterday, but I would like you to only one of you at a time to go see Frank. There are two Franks, so we should be able to get through pretty quick, all right? Does everyone understand what I expect of them? Yeah. Read the job sign, guys. So make sure you read the job sign and go from there. So that's the job sign, I can't read it. No, the other signs. Where do we go? Over here, the right, right click on one of those brown blocks. It looks like we're having a few issues with Frank again. This is Frazier. Okay. I saw someone. Guys, can I just get, if you're in the testing world, can you just stop, please? Who's, who's heading back using the book? Who just went in the bedrock box? Bedrock box. What book? Uh, yeah, I didn't read it. I didn't see the book. Oh, someone just took it. It was you. Okay, guys. Shh. It looks like Frank is doing the wrong thing, okay? Although Jack's managed to get 28 fences and an axe, which is what you're supposed to have. Okay, guys. If you talk to Frank and you didn't get your fences, I'm just in the process of putting... Who is that? Shh. 
Oi, come on. Just listen for a second. Shh, just listen for a second. If you talk to Frank and you didn't get your... Hey, girls. If you talk to Frank and you didn't get your axe or your fences, I'm now at the process of putting a chest at the bottom of the ladder that you need to use. Calvin, you need to go through into the butchers and be doing the right thing, please. Okay, back where you were before when you were trying to break my book. Okay, follow the instructions, please, Calvin. All right, so if you need fences, go near the ladder. Okay, Jack. Jack. Not you, Jack. Jack, what are you digging up my dirt for? Do you know how much area is taken up by it? Do you know how much area is taken up by your fence? Okay, then you need to go and tell that to Frank, please. Put all the dirt back, break down your fences, and then go talk to Frank. Thanks, Jack. Follow this through with the quest, please. Join the server, Darian. Uh, no, so you'll be right to just go in the door now. <laughs> How did you manage that? That's all right. There you go. Oh my God, why is there a thing? Don't worry about him. He's not going to hurt you. Yeah, so just go through. So. All right, so you can't go any further until that block drops. The whole idea behind this is yesterday I had kids getting things taken off them that shouldn't have been taken off them. So I was hoping by doing this one by one that it wouldn't happen. So I don't exactly know what's happened yet. But now you can go. Can you dig holes? Yes, if you want to use that to count, go for it. So now you can just go around and collect all your fences. And how do I pick them up? Just walk on top of them. Okay. And that picks them up automatically. All right, and space bars to jump. Okay. Okay, Calvin and Cody, still, stu till, still two of you there. Okay, Riley, you need to go jump on that pressure plate. There shouldn't be two of you there. All right, guys, I think I've worked out the issue. If you're talking to Frank, don't move, okay, until you have finished talking to Frank because you need to stand right there when you're talking to Frank, okay? I think that's what the issue is. Okay, so you just need to be patient, all right? Next time I'll put in about five or six different Franks, okay? I just didn't have time last night to do the whole lot because that's where you're putting your end product, James. Yeah, so he would have said go and see him again. So you need to you need to speak to him again, yeah. So someone's put a fence on top of the ladder. How do they put a fence on top of the ladder? Okay. You sure? Did you already have ten from somewhere? Because it should ah oh, someone might have stolen one. Oh, no, 35. No, that's all right. Okay, go talk to um, Why Frank. Why is that wrong? No, I don't know. Which one are you doing? Hmm. That's all right. Break down your fence, put all your dirt back, and go and talk to Frank. Uh, it should be 36. I'm not quite sure what you've done, but that's okay. Yeah, but is it the biggest area? So you've done a seven by five. Shania has done obviously a six by six. So, yeah, but is it the biggest area? If, if you know Shania is getting 36, then you know yours isn't the biggest area, don't you? You need to back off, you can't place where you're standing, remember? I don't know, you've got an extra fence, didn't you? No. All right, chop down all your fences and show me how many you get. Oh, 
Read the instructions. Okay, guys, you just need to be patient. Reese. Yeah, get off the roof. Darian. You've just broken the whole game for yourself. Stay there, don't touch anything. Oh, for the first one, 28. How many fences? Okay, try and make the, try and make a bigger area. There you go, Darian. Re-enter. So go back into the book. Do not use that book again. Yeah. Yep. And just got rid of everything I had. Yep, talk to him again. And follow the instructions. You need to read them, Jesse. Summer, you need to get off that pressure plate. Because it's not going to send you while you're standing on it. So get off it. Now go back on it. Too late, you missed the boat. Georgia got him before you. So get off that pressure plate, stand there. When that block drops, you can jump on the pressure plate again. All right? You don't have to dig it down, no. So what did you find? And that's the biggest one. So now in theory you go, oh, I'm flying all over the place here, not paying attention. So now you go back and talk to Frank, okay, and tell him your answer. All right. Guys, the important thing is you read what Frank is telling you because most of the time he says, okay, now talk to me again. Okay? Yes. All right. So you've got to talk to Frank two times most of the time. This? I want to see this. And where have you built that? Yeah, that's fine. I'm not saying you didn't. Um, you can't get out, can you? Uh, all right, someone will come up soon, or do you want me to? Oh, uh, here's someone. Yes, yeah, so go back and talk to Frank. Oh, no. You probably need to talk to Frazier. Okay? Yep, so head back up the stairs and talk to Frazier. One yeah. But now I don't have all my so where do all your gates and stuff go? Okay. All right. So what was your calculation? How did you work out how much it was going to cost? Well, I pretty much just did this. Yeah. And then I saved your life. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I need you to write down what your answer was and how you worked it out in that book. Once you've done that, put that book in the chest, and then I'll tell you where to go next. So you, oh. Did you already answer his quest? I answered Frank's first quest. It says go to Frank was the gate he was going to. Yeah. Oh, so the gates you got off him. Yeah. Right, go back and see Frank then. Okay, come in the pen. Okay. How many squares are in this pen? How many do you need? Right. Out you go. There you go. Should I 
You just don't seem to have a lot of luck with your numbers, do you? Are you sure you can? I know you're doing it right. I don't understand how you keep getting it, getting it a little bit out. Yeah, I don't understand how, unless someone's stealing your dirt as you're digging it. All right. No. So to get 40, that'd be a five by eight grid, wouldn't it? So how could you, if you know the answer is 42, what does, this, what does your dimensions need to be? Six by seven. All right. So you don't have to rebuild it. Break down your fence, replace the dirt. You know the answer. Go talk to Frank. All right. Dang it. Kelvin. Mate. Amazing. Keep going. I want to talk to you about that because that is awesome. Yeah, complete, no, no sarcasm at all. I know I am sarcastic a lot of the time, but no sarcasm at all. That is amazing. All right, because you've done it better than I did. All right, now, 46 fences. Yeah? Yeah, that's good. So if four fences cost five planks, how much do eight fences cost? If four fences cost five, how much does eight cost? Okay, keep counting like that until you end up at 46 or close to 46 and see if you can work it out. All right. Wouldn't it be easy to just go by five? Okay, what were you going to say? I was actually going to say why wouldn't it be easy to go by fives because each. Okay, so you know that every group of four fences is going to cost you five. So that's how many planks you need to order for your fences. Did you see how I worked that out? There, did you see how I worked that out? So how many groups of four are in 46 is the first question you need to ask. If there's 11.5. If each of those groups cost me five planks, that's how many planks I need. Okay? And then you need to add in your gates. All right? And you need to be able to write this down in your book. Okay? The bell is about to go in about a minute or two. Thank you very much for your work today. For those of you who persevered when um, Frank was doing the wrong thing, thank you very much. I will take on board what happened today and try and fix it for the next one. The next one will either be next week or the week after, depending on where we get with our classwork. Okay, the next one is on surface area. Okay, and we might do one on volume as well later. All right, so make sure you're somewhere safe. If you left your stuff in a chest, Okay, you might want to get that back out. Otherwise, no one should steal it, all right, because that's the rules we made. But 